So you just bought the Speak for Yourself app for the iPad, and this is what it looks like out of the box. So you see right up here you have this um, dark bar, and that means that everything on this app is locked right now as far as the editing functions. So the first thing you want to do if you're going to start to customize this app is to go into the settings and you're going to enable the programming. So you're going to um, unlock the app. The way that you do that is that you press the setup key right here and it's going to take you out to your main screen. You're going to go over to settings and select it. You're going to go right down here and look for your Speak for Yourself app. Touch that and then you'll see over here on the right hand side that you have um, enable programming and you're going to touch that to turn it on and then you also have the texting option here that you can turn on if you would like you also have Babel lock Babel um, is a function that we'll go over later but in this kind of settings menu this is just so that you can realize that you can isolate that and lock it or unlock Babel separately so that's the first thing you've done is enable the programming you're going to push the setup key here. Go back into your Speak for Yourself app. And then now you can see up on that top bar you have your different editing functions. This first little daisy here, are, these are your voices. This is the lock, so when you're done editing you're going to push that lock and it's going to make that bar black again so that the child or the user can't get into the editing keys and change anything around. You have your Babel on off, your open and close, and then right over here is where you have your edit key. Right there. So you have your edit key right over there. So that is the first thing you want to do and that is how you turn on and enable the programming for this application. Thank you.